The United States was not in the League of Nations. That's why the League of Nations collapsed. And so the United Nations cannot be relocated anywhere. No, it can't take it to Geneva. It's not going to work. And so Israel gets to hold on to the fruits of her naked aggression. And Israel takes control of the oil of the Middle East. It may be that it will be that moment when the US dollar collapses, but more of this in my lecture on Islam and the international monetary system, and you would be amazed. We say we, we follow the Quran, but we lie. We lie. We say that we follow Muhammad but we lie. We lie. When you attend that lecture on Islam and the international monetary system. When Israel becomes the ruling state in the world, then Israel will rule the world for a day which is like a week. Hmm? If you doubt me, and you doubt my method of analysis, I say no problem. Just wait. Just wait. It is at that time that oppression of the true followers of Muhammad will already begin. The part-time Muslims, of course, will be attacked now and then for purposes of psychological intimidation. So they put their tail between their legs and go back home and watch TV. But the full-time Muslims are going to be attacked and targeted. And they'll know you from your bank account. That's all. Your bank account will tell them everything they want to tell. The Prophet said Islam, about this oppression, that a man would pass by a grave and roll on the grave and say, I wish I were in the grave rather than the dead man. Not because of religious reasons, but because of biting relentless oppression. So if you're comfortable in Sydney, and you think that things are going to continue as it is, and you'll get away from the storm, the war on Islam that's going on now, and yet you can remain as a good Muslim, you're living in dreamland. Because the war on Islam is going to intensify like nothing you've ever seen before. What you've had so far is only an introduction to the war on Islam. The war on Islam has been going on for more than a thousand years. Not since September the 11th. Wake up. The Crusades were part of the war on Islam. Hmm? The same people who launched the Crusades are the same people who dismantled the Ottoman Islamic Empire, are the same people who destroyed the Caliphate, which is my lecture for tomorrow night, Imam al-Mahdi and the return of the Khilafah. It is the same people who today created the state of Israel and control the state of Israel. It is the same people who are going to be ruling the world, the European, who was first dressed up as a Christian, and is then dressed up as a Jew. After Europe, after Israel has ruled the world, of course, for a day which is like a week, at the end of that period of time, what's going to happen to the water in the Sea of Galilee? We dry up. Hmm? It is only when the water in the Sea of Galilee is dried up, it is at that time, according to the Ahadith in Sahih Muslim, you can go and check it out. My book is downstairs, Jerusalem in the Quran. Go read it. It is at that time that you can expect the son of Mary to return. So when I said, I expect it to be 50 years from now, about 50 years. And when I put into the record for your tape records, for those who listen to this lecture when I'm dead and gone, when I said, I can be wrong. And some people still have objections to his saying that he expects the son of Mary to be coming back in about 50 years from now. OK, I'll change it. All I have to say is I expect the Sea of Galilee to be dried up in about 50 years from now. Huh? That's all I have to say. It's the same thing. 
Because the son of Mary will return when the Sea of Galilee has dried up. So if they have objections to that, all I have to say, well, I expect the Sea of Galilee to dry up, you know, 50 years today, and they'll be happy with that. <laughs> huh? It is at that time that Dajjal will now enter into a day which is like our day, and therefore he'll be in our dimension of time. Hmm? And he'll be ruling the world from Jerusalem with what would appear to be eternal rule. It is at that time that the Imam will emerge from Medina, hurrying to Makkah, which is our lecture for tomorrow night. It is at that time that the son of Mary will come down, and the son of Mary will have his hands on the wings of two angels. It is at that time that the true Messiah will kill the false Messiah. When I lecture on Jerusalem in the Quran at Lakemba on Monday the 7th, inshallah, uh, we, we, we go over the subject again, but in greater detail than I did over here. So that lecture is going to be two and a half hours, inshallah. It is at that time that the true Messiah will kill the false Messiah. It is at that time that Gog and Magog will be destroyed. It is at that time that the army will come from, from Khurasan, and no one will be able to stop that army until it reaches Jerusalem, Hadith of, of uh, Sunan of Tirmizi, Sahih Hadith. And then Islam will destroy the state of Israel, liberate the Holy Land. It is at that time the Hadith which is in Sahih Bukhari and Sahih Muslim. If you want to check the credentials of any of your Muslim leaders in Australia, check them out. Can we trust this man? Ask him. Would you ever quote this hadith in public? He'll turn around and run so fast. <laughs> faster than Federal Express. If, if, if he doesn't have faith in his heart, but he's a Muslim leader. Which hadith? Test them out with this. It is in Sahih Bukhari, it is in Sahih Muslim, it is Muttafaqun Ali. And every Palestinian loved this hadith. Oh, yes. You'll most certainly fight the Jews. And you'll most certainly kill them. At that time, the stones will speak. Ya Muslim, there's a Jew hiding behind me. So come, come, come and kill him. Check them out, your leaders. Which one will quote this hadith? When you find a man who is prepared to quote this hadith in public, you got your leader. Now then, let's come to the nitty-gritty. What is the future of the Ummah during this interim period? Until such time as Islam triumphs in the world. What we can expect is the emergence, or rather, the culmination of the political strategy for the establishment of one world government, which will control all of mankind. That we have massively betrayed the Quran is clear from the ayah of Surah Al-Ma'idah. Which ayah? Again, I don't think they'll want to quote it. He says, Subhanahu wa ta'ala, ba'da'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan rajim Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu la tattakhizu al-yahuda wal-nasara awliya ba'duhum awliya uba'd. وَمَنْ يَتَوَلَّهُمْ مِنْكُمْ فَإِنَّهُمْ مِنْهُمْ إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يَهْدِ الْقَوْمَ الظَّالِمِينَ If you're an Arab tonight, good news for you. You don't need a translation. <laughs> you got it already. But for the rest who need a translation for the word of Allah, remember if you stay like that, you're disrespecting the Quran. May I repeat that? If you remain like this, that you do not know what I have just said, because you couldn't understand it. If you remain like this, you are disrespecting the Quran, and you'll pay a price.
price for it. O oh, you who believe, do not turn to Jews and to Christians for that relationship in which they become your awliya. A relationship in which you depend upon them for your protection and you are now subservient to them like an alliance do not do that of course Liyakat Ali Khan didn't read the Quran properly when he made his famous trip to the United States and handed over Pakistan as a client state to the United States many years later they tried to re erase it when a, with a book called friends not master but too late too late. Do not turn to the Jews and Christians for that kind of a relationship where you are now subservient to them and they are your bosses and offer you their protection. Don't do that, says Allah. They are protecting friends of each other. وَمَن يَتَوَلَّهُمْ مِنْكُمْ وَمَن يَتَوَلَّهُمْ مِنْكُمْ Whosoever from amongst you turn to the world of Jews and Christians for that kind of a relationship, accept it, submit to it. For in minhum, you have left the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. You're just whistling in the wind now. You have left the Ummah of Muhammad alayhi salatu wa sallam. If you think you are still in the Ummah, you're just whistling in the wind. فَإِنَّهُ مِنْهُمْ إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يَهْدِ الْقَوْمَ الظَّالِمِينَ Surely Allah will not provide guidance for a people who commit such an atrocious act of wrongdoing. This is the political landscape of world government in which you will no longer be citizens of Australia and Bangladesh but you'll now be citizens of the world governed by a world government which obviously will eventually be the Jews what kind of a relationship do the Jews have with us does Allah speak about this in the Quran when they have political control over all of us what will be our fate he says in the Quran Take this ayah as well and use it as a test. Will they quote it? Your leaders. Latajidanna. Latajidanna ashaddan nasi adawatan lilladhina amanul yahud. Ila akhir al ayah. This is the word of Allah, not Imran Hussein. They can't arrest me for this. You had to arrest Allah. But they can't arrest Allah. La tajidanna, you will surely find time and again. Ashadda nasi adawatan lilladhina amanul yahud. Ila akhir al ayah. That those who will have in their hearts the greatest hatred and enmity and hostility for you will be the Jews. So now your most dangerous enemy in the world is in charge of you. What a pity. What a future for the Muslim Ummah coming up now. That is the political landscape. What about the economic landscape? Hmm? What happens when paper money collapses, disappears? Because Mufti is either sleeping or eating halwa <laughs> because Mufti has not as yet 